It's important to make sure that your heap and stack size are adequate for the program that you're going to run. For some of the smaller programs that you run in 3.30, it doesn't matter much, but later on the programs get bigger. So let me show you how to set the heap and stack size. Select the project and right click. Down near the bottom, you'll see this menu option, Generate Linker Script. Click that and you'll see that it provides a window with a lot of numbers, most of them you don't care about. But let's go over to this part here where it says heap size and stack size. Um, these are um, data structures that are used by your program when it's running. Stack size is used mostly for function calls. Heap size is used when you're allocating memory. Mine is set to be right around um, two megabytes. There's a half a gigabyte on the board you're using, so you can be pretty generous here. Default will often come up as just 1,000 bytes, which is nowhere near enough. So um, I would suggest just checking this periodically because it seems to change for people sometimes. And uh, set it up to be about 2 million bytes. You do 2 million and it comes out to be about that. And that should be perfectly adequate. Once you've selected those values and inserted them, you hit the Generate button. Hit Yes on the dialog and it will do a complete rebuild um, of the entire system. This is unavoidable, but you shouldn't have to do this very often. However, every time that you create a new workspace, anytime you essentially recreate the project, the project is this item here, you'll have to go through this process again and make sure the heap is the right size. So that's what you need to do to set the heap in the stack. If you don't do that, uh, your program may run uh, strangely or not at all because it may, won't be getting the memory that it requires.